Welcome to the Life Poetic with Thomas Kiley. This week we're looking at Residue by Warson Shire. I give myself five days to forget you. On the first day I rust. On the second day I wilt. On the third day I sit with friends but I think about your tongue. I clean my room on the fourth day. I clean my body on the fourth day. I try to replace your scent on the fourth day. The fifth day, I adorn myself like the mouth of an inmate, a wedding singer dressed in borrowed gold, the Midas of cheap metal, tinsel in the middle of summer, crevice glitter two days after the party. I glow the way unwanted things do, a neon sign that reads, come, I still taste like someone else's mouth. Wilson Shire is a Kenyan-born Somali writer who now lives and works in London. She's a young woman. She was born in 1988 um, and is a powerful and evocative and, and very raw writer. Um, you might have seen somebody who was doing the rounds for a while on Facebook was this beautiful little snippet which says, I held the atlas in my lap and asked it where does it hurt. It said everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Um, I really love this little snippet. I think it's quite beautiful, um, and it has this sort of this sort of this two-way meaning. And the first way is asking the world, "Where does it hurt?" And it's saying, "Everywhere, everything's on fire. Every everywhere you go, there's pain, there's suffering. It's it's everything is is happening, and it's it's um, painful and intense for the world." But I also love the way it seems to imply that any one piece of suffering somewhere affects the entire world. The, the world is deeply interconnected and so if there's a mass shooting in America or a bombing in Pakistan, this violence affects the whole world and the whole world feels that pain. Um, this piece here I've chosen, uh, I, quite, I find really quite delightful, We're talking about this process after a breakup and the way I feel like when you break up with someone you want to come bouncing out of it, you want to the, there's the, the pain and the suffering that's involved, but you want to sort of rise and go, yeah, I'm ready and I'm back in the game. Um, and I think with this piece, Warson's saying that you can't come that quickly back to it, that when you have that deep forging of a relationship with someone, it's, it's deep inside you and it takes a while to pull yourself out of it. Um, and often what sort of gets pulled out at the end isn't the most awesome aspects of it and you end up being quite wounded and in a process of healing. Um, and so even though she's adorning herself in this Midas gold, um, you can kind of see the cheapness of it, the, um, the, yeah, the tinsel in the middle of summer, this crevice glitter two days after the party. Like I love this idea, like in the cracks of the pavement and in the sewers, there's still the glitter left there, but there's no party anymore now. It's just rubbish. Pretty as it is, it's just rubbish. Um, and she's saying like, after a breakup, that's kind of how you feel. You have the affectations of being out there and amazing and celebratory and um, alluring, but the reality is people will see through that and they will hear you say, come, I still taste like someone else's mouth. So even if you were to make love to me, you would still feel the residue of the past relationship that I've just stepped out of. Um, so that's why I really love this piece. I give myself five days to forget you. On the first day, I rust. On the second day, I wilt. On the third day, I sit with friends, but I think about your tongue. I clean my room on the fourth day. I clean my body on the fourth day. I try to replace your scent on the fourth day. The fifth day, I adorn myself like the mouth of an inmate, a wedding singer dressed in borrowed gold, the Midas of cheap metal, tinsel in the middle of summer, crevice glitter two days after the party. I glow the way unwanted things do, a neon sign that reads, come, I still taste like someone else's mouth. This has been The Life Poetic with Thomas Kiley. See you next week.